Welcome to Sheet Metal Tech Tips. Today we will discuss holes and slots in sheet metal parts. In this video we will review size and location requirements, how holes and slots are typically made, and tolerances of holes and slots. The minimum diameter for holes or slots in a sheet metal part should be equal to the material thickness and no smaller than 42,000. The minimum distance between the edges of holes and slots should be at the very least equal to the material thickness. The edge of a hole from the outside of a bend should be a minimum of four times the material thickness. As you can see in this video, a hole placed too close to the bend will not form correctly as it falls inside the forming die of the brake press. While a hole placed at four times material thickness forms up without deformation. Typically, holes or slots are made in sheet metal on a punch press or a laser. A punch press uses a tool and punches the material out of the flat metal. This type of hole snaps out of the material, leaving a burr opposite the side of the punch came through. This diagram gives an example of the hole made by a punch tool. A laser uses a laser beam to cut holes and slots in flat metal. Laser holes are typically more precise and have less fur than a punch tool. Standard hole tolerances for diameters are plus or minus 5,000, and hole tolerances for installed hardware are made to the manufacturer's specification. Holes and slots in sheet metal parts are typically punched or lasered, as drilling would add significant cost and lead time when these requirements are not met. Slot tolerances are plus or minus 5 on the width and plus or minus 10,000 on the length. So in review, holes and slots should be located on sheet metal parts with a minimum material thickness between their edges and edges of material, and a minimum diameter or width should be equal or greater than the material thickness. Allowing for these tolerances and placing the geometry within these guidelines allow for faster processing of sheet metal parts with fewer manual operations which add significant cost and lead time. This concludes our video on holes and slots. For more information, contact our design team.